giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. And before we get to the top 25 tower, you were telling us off air about a pretty uh, interesting new way to kind of, that the Central Illinois Regional decided to present multiple first programs, so not just FRC um, this past weekend. So what's going on in Peoria? Uh, so, yeah, so I, I got a chance to go down. Uh, usually I actually help MC Peoria, but I had a little bit of a conflict. So I came down on uh, Saturday to the Central Illinois Regional, which is one of my favorite events of the year. The venue is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the event coordinators uh, who help run it, Tim and Vera and everybody else uh, in the background there are so cool. Some of the best announcers out there with uh, Corey and Ryan and Dan and, and so many others that just make that happen. Uh, but, you know, I got down there and last year they they piloted, they kind of had some uh, a little bit of the Lego League programs there. Uh, and they kind of did this as this kind of interjecting between FRC events. I'm like, okay, that's pretty neat. Uh, but this year they kind of took it up a notch a little bit. And uh, I'd be interested to hear you guys' opinions and some thoughts because I think there's some pros and cons to this. But here's what they did. Uh, they uh, had on Saturday, they had FRC like is usual, right? So you have these seven-minute match rotations for things. Uh, but then when the FRC match ended and they showed the scores, which thankfully can be done very quickly now, they would either head over to an FTC or an FLL match. So it would pretty much go FRC, then FTC, then FRC, then FLL, and kind of keep pinging back and forth. And these weren't an official competition. It was more of kind of a all-star showcase because they already had their state tournaments. Uh, but I thought it was pretty neat. I, it was definitely a change of pace a little bit because you just pretty much had nonstop competition going on. And the way that that venue is laid out is that you can have the FRC field on the main field and have the FTC and the FL field right next to it. It was behind the Blue Alliance station. Um, so everybody could get a decent view if they wanted to, and the camera work, camera work was done pretty well. Uh, so real quick, actually, let's. Uh, I, I, I stopped and chatted with uh, Dan Green, uh, who's the uh, dr uh, executive director of First Illinois, um, of course, and a legendary game announcer. Um, so I just want to have you guys hear a little bit more about it, and then let's chat a little bit about uh, maybe the viability of it moving forward. the Central Illinois Regional. I'm here with the Executive Director of First Illinois, Dan Green. And Dan, we got something spectacular going on here. We have FRC, FTC, and FLL all going on here at once. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Well, we're, we brought all three of the programs together because we're trying to show how this progression of programs works for FIRST. We think this is a really good opportunity to bring them all together, go from one to the other, put them next to each other, show how awesome each one of the programs is, and we're just going back and forth, and the kids are loving it, all the, all the volunteers are loving it. It's been, so far, it's been a great experience. What, what does it mean when you look at, you know, high schoolers now get to see more of what the elementary schools do, but even more importantly, I think, the younger kids get to see what's to come even further. So what's the importance of that in regards to kind of building even more uh, progression through Illinois First. Yeah, well, that's our goal, obviously, is especially getting the younger kids that are doing the Lego robotics uh, to see what they can do when they get older. And when they get older, they can go to FTC, they can go to FRC. So that's what we're hoping to see. Very cool. Well, fantastic event here at Central Illinois. Can't wait to see more of what's going on. Thanks, Dan. All right, thanks, Dan. So an interesting concept uh, at the Central Illinois Regional. Thanks to Dan Green for giving us some more insight on it. Um, I got a little bit more insight, just kind of what uh, went behind the scenes and stuff uh, to make this work. Because, of course, with more things, it requires more people, more resources, that sort of things as well. Um, so uh, just some feedback I got that it, it added about 20 volunteers to the event. Um, and the FTC and FLL programs went for about four hours on, on Saturday. So it was before playoffs uh, started. Uh, for that as well, too. So um, when I was there, they rotated just kind of the MCs and the GAs around to do FL and FTC and kind of want to specialize in each. So they just kind of rotated them around prior to playoffs. But I guess I want to get your guys' opinion on this. And chat, we'd love to hear about this. Well, if this is something you'd want to see or not want to see. But uh, Christine, why don't we start with you? Like, what, what are your thoughts when you see something like this? Is this a viable way or something that first should be looking into uh, into the future? I think it's something that they should really be looking into, especially for the championship event or even like, I mean, Thinking about how so many New England districts um, are trying to integrate like an FLL Expo or an FTC Expo, like this would be a good way to just make it more worth it. Um, you know, they they always seem to like kind of put them off in like an area that isn't being used, which yeah. isn't obviously isn't a high traffic area. So they're not getting a lot of attention and it kind of stinks for the kids. So this is a really cool way to kind of 
get that whole first family programs under one umbrella pretty, you know, pretty easily. Like it, it obviously is a lot more work for the event. Um, but it, it could be something really cool. I could see it happening really well in, in Michigan, perhaps since, you know, they have such a, a strong foundation for that entire area, but PJ just cool. rebuttal to you before you even said anything. He said a lot of uh, venues and fam don't have the space for this. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, maybe Texas then, because everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> but, right. um, I, don't know, I could see it being pretty cool for champs. Maybe like some separate sort of channel where they're kind of flipping back like red zone wise for for all three, or if you want to get crazy for FLL Junior um, programs. So. Yeah, I think that's probably the end the end goal or the end solution because I think it is cool to highlight these teams. Like typically when you go to an event, uh, an FRC event, there's like little demos or showcases of um, some of the other programs around. Like at FLR, there's always FTC demos. Uh, I don't think there was FL this year, but there usually is. Um, so I think that kind of gets lost in the shuffle. So I think I don't think there's room enough to have them necessarily be competing. But I think mm -hmm. what Christine said in a separate venue where they could like go to that camera and at least we could watch on the on the big screen. I do think it would be a great way to fill time between FRC matches because it's not exciting watching like field reset and you know have them crank down the the sandstorm screen. Like there is kind of a dead zone and they try to keep it upbeat with music and things like that. But um, I think, you know, using that, that eight minutes or seven minutes to show an FTC match or show an FLL match would be a really cool thing. Yeah. I'd, if I'm not mistaken, they had FTC running side by side at, at championship last year. Correct. Yeah. I mean, they do yeah. FTC. Yeah, you're saying at like Ford field, for example. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so they, and, they would swap back and forth. Yes. Right. And I like having no, like no stake in the game for that. I thought it was like exciting at least to watch at that level um, mm. because like the MCs and the game announcers and the team, like they were all excited. So it yeah. kind of got you a little bit in, into it because they were going live. Yeah. Going at the same time, I don't, you know, I think that the, the room and the size constraints, but if it was, you know, if there, if diff these different areas had, you know, a separate gym that worked or um, even did like the final, like their finals matches over, you know, with the, with FRC, but then you got to worry about like seats and did the, all the FLL parents or FTC parents have room and there's a lot more logistics that go into it. But I think, um, it is something that could definitely help break, um, break it up. And I think Justin, like you said, even if it was just on camera, I think that's a great way to start. Um, if, even if it's at the same school, but at like a middle school or something, um, you know, um, I think that would be great. And I think it's something that, um, hopefully we'll see more of and, um, I know this was kind of just an exhibition here in Illinois, um, which is some of like the all-star teams, but I think it's definitely something to go forward because being, and also being kind of removed from a team for the past several years, watching like online or even like without a team watching in person, it is brutal. Like when there is like random field timeouts or like robots aren't connecting and mm -hmm. the days are just that much longer. So anything to kind of break it up, um, I think it would be, okay. we would be, Good or it's championships and 45 minutes between matches on Ford Field sort of thing, yeah. right? So <laughs> maybe not that long. Oh yeah, yeah that's, that's what it feels like though. Yeah, I mean they were. I mean they're long sometimes. I mean, I, I, oh, what yeah. two years two years ago at uh, Minute Maid there was some ridiculous breaks just because of the uh, the who who the knew sun. the uh, the sun coming in, right? So. Yeah, right. <laughs> So but, yeah, yeah, I think that's interesting for sure. Yeah, it's it's you know, in every time something gets brought, there's gonna be the, oh, we can't do that here, or we can't do that there. Well, you know, a lot of people said they couldn't do districts and places, and they're doing that now too. Yeah. Uh, and and there's a lot of things like that. Now, is it all realistic for all areas? No, of course not. But I think uh, having that encouragement where you can see all programs, and you know, if, if I'm a younger student, you know, to be able to see the, the bigger robots like that, I think is very inspiring. And and honestly, to me. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that, that they're showing off the lower level uh, programs or lower age programs for things. Uh, I, you know, we started to do FTC on air now with the show, and it, it's crazy just to see the disconnect between the programs. I mean, it's, it's insane to a certain extent, uh, just the differences between the programs and how there's no cohesion really going on. And, you know, it, first always talks about growth, growth, growth and that sort of thing. And to me, this is sustainability. Let's do it right that way. And that, the way to do that is we farm up from, from down up. And we have these concurrent uh, ways between teams and, you know, give credit to FIM where it's due. Uh, I think they've done a fantastic job, you know, regardless of you like FTC, be middle school only or not, you can't really deny the uh, amount of growth they've had in sustainability they've had as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Plus, at least for um, 
you know, at FLR, I feel like we get a lot of like younger siblings and younger cousins and, you know, cousins from out of town and they always come in and, you know, they're in that non high school age range and they're always like, oh, you know, what kind of opportunities are available for us? And then I'm finding myself explaining what FLR is or explaining what FTC is. Um, so it would just be another cool opportunity to, hey, you can just watch this and see. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I agree. Because like it, this is kind of where all, like you said, Justin, the extended family, the friends, the neighbors, all come in to see yep. what you've been yeah, doing, exactly. what you've been up to. But then, you know, you can just say, hey, like this is this is what it is, and this is not just an exhibition, but this is like an actual competition. You can see what it's like, you know. But again, it's gonna be it's gonna be different for every venue, especially now in districts with um, just not as big venues being rented out. I don't know if Christine like can speak to kind of the the district and the schools that you're in, if you think like there's a cafeteria or, a, you know, another gym that's close that could work or what, but. Yeah, I think that at least like in New England, we we have a pretty small venue pool. Um, we have a few colleges that we're lucky enough to kind of pull from, but even when we were at Central New York um, a few weeks ago, it's just like there's, for the most part, there's really no extra space when you're renting out a venue, um, especially for, district so it could be tricky but i could see it being really you know impactful and worth it to do like at you know district championship <clears throat> especially because you're getting in all of those sponsors as well like that's your premier event they want to see where all the money is going like throughout the the family programs and you know where else they can invest their money i guess did pasta just make an appearance <laughs> P I, P I heard pasta in the background so oh, i didn't hear it cool uh, anything else to add from anybody else? No, I just think it's a good idea. Something mm -hmm. that everyone should kind of uh, consider as they plan yeah. future events. Christine, maybe some more uh, further discussions possibly on this and other stuff on Roasting Robots, right? We'll see. And then Christine died. She did. Yep. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Can I get F in the chat? Uh, lots, of, <laughs> lots of whoops in chat, please. Whoops. Oh, Went to hit mute and apparently hit hang up. So somebody <laughs> else hosted that yesterday. So. Resurrected. <laughs> awesome. She All back. Right. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates. Now you can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live and independent.